Are we rolling, Phil? Yeah. I'm Daniel Scranton. This is Channel 12 Action News. I'm here at Hillsworth Hall investigating a recent tragedy. So what are your reactions to the murders that happened here? I'm shocked. Just shocked. Do you know Steven Zabar? Not personally, but he, he seemed like such a quiet guy. I could not imagine him doing such a thing. How long have you been at the Hillsworth? You mean the Hellsworth? I'm not sure I follow. There are rumors this place is cursed by evil spirits. Evil spirits, you say? Yes. Behind this door is the site of a double homicide. I don't know about this, Dan. You remember what that guy said? Those are just silly rumors. Come on, let's go see what's inside. You getting this? This is great footage. Yeah, I'm getting it all right. I'm getting creeped out is what I'm getting. Here, it's all yours, man. I'm out of here. Well, what do you mean? We're not finished. Yeah, I don't get any ghosts in my life. You're on your own, buddy. Well, I don't need you. I can finish this myself. Ghosts. What a joke. I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be safe. I think I'm okay. Look at this. A celebrity gave birth to UFO baby. I wonder who the father was. The name's Carter. Jack Carter. Hill, Lori Hill. Smooth. So you're here looking for a job too. Are you any good? Sounds like someone's worried. No, not at all. You see, I have a great track record as a celebrity photographer. And I should be concerned? Well, most people don't stand a chance against Jack Carter. You're gonna need a lot of luck, you know. Glory Hill. Thanks for the heads up, Jack. However, after looking at you, I don't need much luck. Recently graduated valedictorian. Lead editor for the school newspaper. It's quite impressive. Thank you. You seem very accomplished. I think you'd make a great secretary. I spent four years in college studying journalism, Mr. Grafman. I'm not going to be a secretary. Uh-huh. Do you see this? Our ratings are excellent. You know why? We're widely respected throughout the community for our investigative journalism. Hey, a quick glance at your pieces here, and you're professional. And that's what I'm looking for. But there's nothing open at this time. Please, I'll take any assignment, big or small. Just give me a chance. I'm sorry. You'll just have to keep checking back. Take your portfolio, give it to Julie on the way out. Hello, Mr. Delaware. I don't know, sir. I haven't seen Daniel. It's okay. I'll get the story for you. I promise. Miss Helm, Mr. Grafton would like a word with you. It's your lucky day. I got a proposition for you. you interested? Of course. My top reporter, Daniel Scranton, he failed to finish a story for me. You finish the story. 
and I'll consider giving you a permanent job. Really? Yes, really, but it won't be easy. There was a double homicide at the Hillsworth. The main suspect is the late Stephen Zabar. Police are uncertain. All our leads and facts are in this folder. Lori, truth's out there, you get it for me. Thank you, I won't let you down. Yes, Mrs. Zabar? What do you want? I'm a reporter here for an interview about Stephen. I knew Stephen better than anyone, and he's no killer. So you can take your lies and use them on another story. Mrs. Zabar, I... Is there a problem here? Officer, I was just asking this reporter to leave. You heard the lady. Thanks for the statement, Miss Zabar. This time the police station won't miss violence. So you're a police officer now? If it gets me the story. Did it ever occur to you how illegal this is? Not really. You have to be deceptive to get anywhere in this business. Well, that's the difference between you and I, Jack. I have ethics and you don't. And it sure gave you results. I'm sick of reporters. Oh, uh, you mean the job interview? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, trainee position, I'm sorry. You caught me off guard. Please, sit, sit. Uh, I'm Alan Shepard. I'm, I run this place. Uh, where's my manners? Uh, would you like something to drink? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, I, I hope you don't mind if, if I do. It's been kind of a rough day. You have to excuse me. I thought you were a reporter looking for a story. I guess you've already heard about our unfortunate events. The double homicide? Yes, well... That event has practically ruined my business. I mean, they're calling this place Hellsworth now. Oh, I, I guess I don't blame them though. Poor Stephen. I swear, that room he was in was cursed. If I'd only known. Tell me, Miss Hill, do you believe in curses? No, Mr. Shepard, and they don't scare me away from a job. That's good. That's really good. I have to tell you, we've had a hell of a time trying to find somebody for this job. But you're perfect, and you're here. I'd like to hire you today. I mean, that is, if you want to take the job. This is Jimmy, and this is where you'll be working, and when he needs a break, you can take his place. As you can see, there's a monitor over there, which is patrolling the grounds. That'll be part of your job. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes. We have many rules, but one that you must never break. 
You must stay out of room 1210. That was Stephen's room. And, uh, oh, you must never let anyone on the 12th floor, ever. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Well, uh, I think everything is pretty much self-explanatory here in the manual. Ah, uh, Scoop Wisby, he's our maintenance man. Uh, if you have a problem, he'll fix it. I'm sure he will. Right you are, man. Well, come, I'll uh, show you to your living quarters so you can start tonight. About to start your round? You must be aching to leave. You don't intimidate me, Jack. Or should I call you Skip Wisby? You like that? I don't know how you talked your way into the Hillsworth, but I see right through your lies. I have my ways, and I see yours is working too. Congrats. Don't bring me down to your level. It's insulting. Sorry, don't get offended. So, is there a key around here that unlocks everything? The master key. But I guarantee you'll never get it. That's too bad, because I thought we could team up. Say what? Yeah, combine our forces. I'm sure there's something I can offer you. You think about it. I'm going to start my rounds. I will. You're more deceptive than I thought. I'm impressed. You're not gonna tell me which one the master key is, are you? Who said I had the master key? Only Mr. Shepard has it, and he keeps it on him at all times. Just stay out of my way, the story's mine.
how's the story going? You know, if I wasn't so sure, I think you were here to spy on me. See, that's not fair. I was just considering your offer. For God's sakes, I wasn't serious. Come on. You know you want to. Jack and Lori, the reporting duo. It sounds great, but I work alone. Are you sure? Because together we can prove that Stephen murdered those people. I'm sure, but I'm still not entirely convinced Stephen did it. Then who was it? Santa Claus? I don't know. Stephen had no motivation. He was an honor student, 4.0. Everybody liked him. Who cares? Just say he did it and finish the story. That sounds like something you'd say. Maybe you should stick to being a janitor. What do you mean? I don't like your tabloid reporting, so why don't you play with your monkey wrench and leave me alone? Fine. I'll go do that then. on a girl who may live here. Her name is Alice Thornhart. Oh, that girl. We shouldn't talk about her. Please. I see her in my dreams. I must find her. She ran away from here a long time ago. Thank the Lord. If you really want to know about Alice, read this. You can't be serious. Sometimes a person is born with special powers that are unexplainable. Alice had a very great power that she used 
for absolute evil, the harvesting of souls to increase her lifespan for continuous treachery. You can borrow this if you want, but be warned, if you seek her, you will find nothing but pain. Where can I find her? No one knows for sure. Her last address was the Hillsworth. Hillsworth? Thank you. Hello? Miss Hill, how's the story coming? There have been a few complications, but I'm getting the hard facts. Well, I hope so, because you're running short on time. I'll have to go live tomorrow morning. What? I need more time. I'm not asking for excuses, so use your resources and get me the story. Yes, sir. So now you want to join forces. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. I'm just asking for a small favor. And what can you offer me that I don't already have? The truth. Jack, there's something going on here that's bigger than just a double homicide. Which is what, exactly? What if the rumors about this place are true? What if it's actually cursed? Yesterday, you hated the tabloids, and now you're talking like them. I'm serious. I've been having these dreams that something's trying to warn me. Of what? I don't know. That's why I need you to meet 1210 to find out. It's gonna be hard. Mr. Shepard watches the 12th floor like a hawk. We can go at 7 p.m. Mr. Shepard takes a 30 minute break. There must be some way you can get us in. Is picking locks your specialty? The sign of a true reporter. It's all yours. You keep watch. something in the mirror. Yes, it was Alice. And you have evidence to back this up? No. Perhaps I'm just seeing things. Well, well, at least you found this camcorder. It's gotta have something on it about Steve. Yes, I'll be right down. Stay here. Thanks for the break, Lori. I'm Daniel Scranton, this is Channel 12 Action News. I'm here at Hillsworth Hall investigating a recent tragedy. There are rumors that this place is cursed by evil spirits. Behind this door was the site of a double homicide.
be able to assert it. Jack, what's wrong? You're bleeding. So he is. Good old Jack. It's funny he didn't stroke me much. Jack, you're scaring me. Is he now? Stay out of 1210. Did I not say that that room was cursed? What happened here, Mr. Shepard? Don't ask me questions. Who's Alice Thornhart? How do you know about her? Who told you her name? I thought I covered up all the evidence. Evidence? What did you do to her? I didn't do anything. She just came here one day and asked me. Asked me. Of course, I gave her room 1210. Though soon I discovered she was wanted by police. A suspect in many mysterious killings. I cornered Alice, and I told her I was going to call the police. She stabbed herself in the heart with a wooden blade. The last thing she said was that Hillsworth would be cursed because of me. Of course, if the word got out of her suicide, I'd lose business. So I burned her body with all of her possessions. I never took the curse seriously, until now. Wait, did you say a wooden blade? 
Did it look like this? Yes. So what? So what? Look at this. It's a soul blade. It says here if a person stabs themselves in the heart, they walk the spirit world and can possess the minds of the living. Well, that explains why Skip tried to kill you. But how do we kill Alice? According to this book, pulling out the dagger is the only way. And you know how to do this? Uh, no. But we have to do something or more people will die. If we can get Alice back to 1210, we could trap her there. So what's your plan? All right, Lloyd, listen to me. When Alice comes in, you run out and I'll close the door. How will I know when that is? Believe me, you'll know. Are you sure this is safe? If you run, you should be fine. She's here.
Jack, you're alive? I've always been alive. Sit, join me. Where are we? This, this doesn't feel real. You're thinking too much. Try not to think. Jack, we can't stay here. Time is running out and we need to finish the story on Alice Thornhart. The story isn't important anymore. You have bigger problems. Bigger problems? Yes. She's watching your every move, waiting to trap your soul. Pretend you don't know. You may last longer. Let me help you. We can get out of here. There's no escape. She's here with us. I can't see her. Don't trust your eyes. This is all her illusion. Try to see beyond it. Go ahead, try the wine. It's an addition to my collection. You bitch! Do you think you're stronger than me? What do you want? I want you to beg for mercy like Captain. Right before I took his soul. The public will know the truth. If you keep killing people, they'll eventually catch on. No, they won't. I'll bring out a trial to and lose your body elsewhere. It'll just be another Steven Zang I could probably buy into. It's for every soul I've given my debts away. I can last all eternity here in the spirit world, and no one can stop me. Since I'm being sacrificed for you, I have only one request. Take these chains off and let me die with dignity. Luckily, I wouldn't, but I'm full of humans. No, how about you burn in hell? that you're angry with me. But you must understand, the public cannot know. The truth? Well, yes, I'm sure you understand. I hate to break this to you, but I'm an undercover reporter. The public will know. Oh, Lord, Lord! I'm Paul Krenzel.
Enzo, and this is Channel 12 Action News. Officials have been investigating a recent double homicide at Hillsworth Hall. We go live with Lori Hill, who's covering the story. Thanks, Paul. Behind me is the site of a double homicide discovered late last week. Police believe that it was Stephen Zabar, a resident of Hillsworth, who allegedly stabbed two other residents to death. Although all the police's evidence points towards Stephen Zabar, this reporter believes he's innocent. For several years, there have been rumors that the Hillsworth is cursed. I can affirm that these rumors are true. While staying here, I had a ghostly encounter with Alice Thornhart, who is the evil spirit of the no! Hillsworth. The ghost of Alice Thornhart tried to take over my mind and make me do her bidding, the same way she did with Stephen Zabar. I was lucky enough to get out, but Stephen was not. So in the end, the killer was not Stephen Zabar, it was Alice Thornhart. This is Lori Hill, Channel 12. 300,000 viewers. I just aired a ghost story? Is this some kind of sick joke? I expected honest journalism, not this tabloid bullshit. It's the honest truth. Do you realize that Channel 12 will be the laughing stock of all news stations? Oh, a ghost story about Alice Barnhart. What next? Bigfoot? Uh, oh, don't say anything. My reputation is permanently damaged. Any second now, my boss will call, so I suggest you show yourself out. Yes, sir. I know you're angry. I'm going to start drafting a follow-up report. Hi, Jack. Well, I guess the truth doesn't matter. I tried my best. I heard about Jack. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to thank you for what you did. I didn't do anything, Mrs. Sabar. No one believed my story. I did. I knew Stephen was innocent. I just needed some evidence. Thank you. Would you look at that? It's a white chrysanthemum. It's the flower of truth. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> 